Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Kellen here from Droid Life. Gonna give you a quick walkthrough today of our Nexus S that we have up and running ice cream sandwich. So this is the port that Drew Guerin put together and it actually works really nicely. 3G works, data works, camera works, everything pretty much works. And as far as we know, he pulled it from the SDK. So huge props go out to him for throwing this together. We've got it up on our Nexus S. We're gonna give you guys a really nice walk through ice cream sandwich. Uh, we did a screenshot sort of preview yesterday. A lot of people wanted video though. So we thought we'd toss together this quick video. Uh, so to jump into, I just wanna show you how quickly this phone actually boots up. So we've got it off. There is that unlock button down there which comes standard on Nexus devices. For those of you that uh, are going to pick up the Galaxy Nexus and have it be your first Nexus device, look forward to that. As you can see, Drew tossed in the uh, Galaxy Nexus boot animation to sort of add to the whole appeal, sort of feel of everything. But again, watch this. Should be done any second now. It's one of the faster boot sequences I've seen on a phone in quite some time. Of course, it feels longer with me talking. There we go, so pretty quick, right? And once we get here, you see right away we get to the ice cream sandwich lock screen. You can see it tells you the network you're on. I'm on AT&T right now. And also up top there is your new icons, sort of ice cream sandwich color scheme. Uh, if we want to unlock, we can go to straight to the camera or we can go right to unlock. Let's just go ahead and unlock and jump into the home screen. Okay, so home screen, you got five home screens. You can see there's a little indicator down there that tells you which screen you're on. Okay, if we want to, uh, oh, notification bar, you just pull that down. We don't have any notifications right now. Um, pull that back up, that's pretty standard. Here's a folder of apps that just came loaded on this. I haven't changed that or anything. Pretty cool um, folders, actually. If you drag and press on an app, you can see you can slide it around and things will actually move out of the way. So wherever you want this app, you can just sort of drop it. So that's sort of a nice addition. Also, if we go ahead and um, Let's say we have a couple icons already on our home screen. You can just drag those on top of each other and create a folder. You can also put that folder right on your dock and you can actually drag things into it while it's on the dock as well. And if you don't want those things in there anymore, you can just drag them straight out and then your folder's gone, you're back to normal. So that's sort of a cool feature they've added here in uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. Also, you'll notice that the uh, search bar up there, always there, it used to be a widget now it's just always up top. If I go ahead and press that though, we'll show you this sort of new color scheme of things. You can see it's sort of this dark grayish, um, the new keyboard, you know, we can type in there, Droid Life, whatever you want, and it'll bring up, you know, past stuff that we've searched for, give you examples, things like that. So that is the uh, new search. Um, also wanted to show you in the app drawer itself, um, horizontal app drawer, so you can see scrolling side to side. In the Galaxy Nexus version of ICS, this is actually going to be sort of a 3D transition in between pages. It's just not available yet. Um, so that will look a little fancier. Also up top we have widgets, which you all know by now, but I wanted to show you. It's something that's taken me a little bit to get used to actually. So widgets in here, just like they were in Honeycomb, um, you can no longer long press on the home screen though to add these, which is sort of taking a little getting used to. Um, let me just show you like a Google Plus Photo widget. All I have to do is long press, and then you can choose which screen you want to put this on. Let's just put it here. You can see there's a grid and everything, so you can decide where this is going to go, if it'll fit. Just drop it wherever you want it, and then it will start pulling pictures from Google Plus. You can just thumb through those, finger through those. Pretty sweet, right? But I want to show you, if you long press, you no longer get the option to add a widget. All you can do by a long press on your home screen now is change wallpapers to lives, um, static wallpapers, things like that. So that's sort of taking a little bit of getting used to. Also wanted to point out that there's no menu. So you can see I'm hitting menu. There's no menu on the home screen itself. Once you get into apps and things, there actually is a menu button, but from the home screen, no more menu. So that's sort of been another thing to get used to. If I want to go ahead and go into settings, I have to actually go into the app for settings to get in there and then I can cruise around in my settings and I'll show you that in a second but yeah so no menu from the home screen um, but we're getting a lot of questions from people saying well if there's no physical buttons in ice cream sandwich what about these older devices you can see they work just fine see I can cruise over here and hit home it takes me just like it does it functions just like a normal the menu buttons just sort of been disabled from the home screen not that big a deal back buttons search buttons everything works just like you should expect it to so no worries there um, anyway let's jump back into settings show you that really quick 
So you can see the settings menu has been completely redesigned, Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth toggle, data, more, all kinds of stuff going on in here, VPN stuff, sound display, battery, applications, your applications manager essentially looks like it did in gingerbread. You can see I'm getting notifications up there, I'll show you that in a second. So you can see managed applications looks about the same. There's really not a whole lot of new stuff in here. We'll go ahead and go into about phone, show you Nexus S, Android 4.0, good stuff, right? Um, as you can see, I'm hitting back to get out of all this stuff. Let's go ahead and go into the dialer, show you what that looks like. Dialer, and we can actually dial 411 or something like that, and it will call. And once you're in here, you can actually hit this button down here to get um, your speaker or, hand or headset earpiece menu. You can pull up your dialer. Um, you can mute, pause, add another call, things like that. Let's go ahead and end that. And you see that big picture of the Android. If you actually had the um, call to contact that was in your book, that would be their picture right there. Um, so there's your dialer. I'm not going to show you my favorites, although it is sort of a tiled, more almost Windows 7 look to it. Um, let's go ahead and go back into these all these Google apps. So Google Plus, as you know, was leaked a while ago, so it's not going to change or be all that new to you. It does say chords now over here, which is something we're still trying to figure out. Let's go ahead and show you. Maps is the same. YouTube is actually different. Let's see if we can get that open. There is YouTube. So you can see home, browse, account, and you can swipe between these. So swiping gesture is a big part of uh, ICS. Um, the books app, let's go ahead and show you that. So sort of a 3D carousel of books. Sort of cool, right? Shortcut to the market in case you wanna buy more books. Um, music you've seen, cause this app was leaked and we posted a ton of stuff about it. So it's basically the music player that's out now, but it's got that ICS blue tint to it. So you can see album art, you know, essentially all looks just like what you've all grown accustomed to. More polished though. Um, let's go ahead and look at the gallery. So gallery has um, blue tint to it, different categories. You can swipe between all this stuff. You know, it's got sort of that 3D animation on the ed when you get to the edge. Uh, if we go ahead and go into camera, there is a picture I took, black and white. Um, if you, you, one of the cool things I've noticed is there's a quick Gmail share. Since that's the way I almost always share pictures from all of my phones, I'm really happy to see that up there. Otherwise, you can click share and get other options like Picasso, Google+, things like that. But I really like that Gmail up there. And then when you get in here and actually tap on an image, you can see you got mini images down here. You can swipe between these just like you normally would. Also, if we hit menu and you go ahead and hit edit, this will take you into the image editor. And you can see you can change, you know, all the color stuff in there. You can crop, rotate, flip, red eye, sharpen, all that stuff. Highlights, shadows. You can really do a lot of stuff with this new image editor. Really great to see them uh, throw this in. Yeah, look at all the stuff. Fish eye. Let's go fisheye on Android. It's actually got this little dial over here that you can use to, you know, sort of change whatever you want to do. Anyway, you can save it up there, you can back out, all that good stuff. So photo editor, Let's see what else we can show you. Um, Google Talks actually changed a lot, but you saw that in the pictures yesterday. It's got all my accounts in there, sorry, I'm not gonna show you that. Um, the market's essentially the same. We've leaked the uh, ICS market, so. You've seen that. Um, when you do hit menu though, it looks a little bit different. Um, if we go ahead and look at calendar, this has actually got that sort of like zoom in feature that they were talking about. So you can see, got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, new calendar is definitely updated. Uh, People widget, can't really show you that because it's got a bunch of personal contacts. People widget, very nice though. Definitely a big fan of that. Camera, we can show you the camera. And here is an Android. So just took a little picture and uh, that should populate in the right corner. Or maybe that didn't work. Having camera issues. I promise this does work. Oh, look at that force close. 
All right, let's try that one more time. It is an SDK port, remember that folks. So there we go, picture taken. And not a good sign. That means we could have another force close coming. Anyway, oh, there we go. So the picture populated up top. This does this really cool thing where if you tap on that, rather than taking you to the gallery, it shows you like sort of a quick preview of it. And you can do um, sharing and stuff right there. Or, you know, you can just tap on the photo and that actually takes you into the gallery. But it's sort of cool that they've done it as uh, like a mini preview, just so you can share it quickly, get back to doing whatever you were doing. Definitely like that. Um, let's get out of there. Um, I do want to show you that when this phone rotates, you know, it rotates pretty quickly. It seems almost quicker than phones have in the past. Um, also, as you can see, the search widget over here is rotating, and so are these icons. See that? Anyway, pretty cool. Let's go back in here. I did want to show you um, Google Reader seems to be an ice cream sandwich version. You can see it's got a different bar. This is one I got straight from the market. This wasn't preloaded on here. It just sort of has that exact same look as ice cream sandwich stuff. So I'm just going to go into one of my Portland food blogs here. You can see it just has a different look completely. So it's almost like it's been built for ice cream sandwich, but they didn't actually like tell us that it was built for ice cream sandwich. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Um, other things in here, pretty much showed you most of it. Google Maps, like I said, is not new. Um, if we go ahead and go back into our app drawer, see if I can find any other goodies for you. Um, the clock app has not changed apparently. It should pull my weather information. That's why that looks awkward. And pull. All right. Anyway, you can dim this clock. You can long press and make it really go dark. So you've all seen that before, right? Uh, what else can we show you? Downloads. I don't think I've downloaded anything yet. Speaking of downloads, let's go ahead and go in the browser because the browser I have definitely not showed yet. And you can see it'll load up Droid Life. And then we have this, uh, your sort of tab button over there at the top, so I can switch to Android Life if I want to. It'll pull that up, needs to refresh. Um, you do have a menu key in this as well. You can go incognito, which means private browsing, add to bookmarks, check out bookmarks, save pages. There's that save for offline reading that we saw at the uh, Galaxy Nexus event, and it saves that, and it should actually automatically pop me into my Saved Pages tab. Just got a lot of stuff running here. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Let me go, let's try that one more time. Oh, there we go. See, so it did pop it in there. So Android Live, Android Live, you see Saved Pages. And you also have History and Bookmarks. Um, you can also go in and check out Settings. And in your settings, you see the settings menus change a little bit. You got labs in here, so they're going to add cool stuff like full screen and quick controls like we saw in Honeycomb. Um, here is your general. Not a lot going on there. So anyway, that's a new browser. It's uh, got this neat just quick tab switching thing. Um, it'd be nice if you could swipe back and forth between them. You can see that doesn't work. Also, if you tap on the little icon for the site you're on up top there, you do get mobile or desktop option. Nice little feature tossed in there. Um, Google Voice actually looks different just like Google Reader did. Can't show you that, it's a bunch of personal information, but trust me, Google Voice looks totally different. Not totally different, but it just looks like an actual ice cream sandwich version. Um, let's see, Gmail we showed you yesterday. Do, 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 movie Studio. I haven't actually taken any videos yet, so I can't really show you Movie Studio, but it does have a video editor built in, which is nice. We've had that in Honeycomb, we just never had it in phones before. Trying to figure out what I am missing here. That is pretty much it. Tags for NFC stuff. And uh, doesn't necessarily work as far as we know. Haven't tried it yet. Um, Tim has a Nexus S, so him and I might uh, touch phones later. That sounds really dirty, I know. To see what's going on. Um, news and weather definitely has not been updated. Just looks exactly the same. And that is about it just take one last glance at all this stuff. Um, I will go up and check out the uh, notification bar up here. So this is one of the cool things that they've done. So there's swiping gestures and everything, right? So Tim's done, 
Looks like he's actually working today. So I can just dismiss that just by swiping that out of the way. Uh, I have a calendar thing. I can just grab that and swipe it out of the way. I could swipe that out of the way. So you can just swipe everything out of the way or you could have just hit that X and cleared it all. So it's sort of a cool thing that they've done with swiping gestures. In Gmail, you can swipe between Gmails. Um, it's really built into almost every single app now, which has been phenomenal to play with. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the uh, Nexus S running ice cream sandwich. Um, as you can see, the physical buttons don't move with you, like the on-screen buttons will, but the screen will go full 360 rotation. All right, so I completely forgot to show you guys the multitasking feature, which is essentially one of the... Uh, biggest changes to ice cream sandwich you know their most recently used apps and all that stuff so let me just pop open a couple of things here and uh, then we can properly show you guys what I'm talking about in the gallery go back home hopefully that registered books okay so now all you have to do is like you used to in the past, long press on home, and it should pop up, and there you go. So it pops you up the, uh, it's your most recently used task, and it's actually scrollable. You can see it actually holds on to quite a bit of stuff that I've done in the last little while. So anyway, if you want to get rid of something, all you have to do is just swipe it out of there. If you don't want it in there as a previously used done task, you just swipe that bad boy out. So again, and you can swipe it left or right. So, you know, again, swiping gestures and things like that have been added in here and have really made Ice Cream Sandwich amazing. So, anyway, just want to show you guys that really quick. Anyways, and we're out. Peace.